In this episode, this lecture, I'm going to show you how to use the unit testing tool uh, that we'll be using throughout the semester. Uh, this is yet another piece of technology that's um, sort of common within uh, uh, development programs, development um, um, environments. Uh, this particular uh, program that we're going to be using, or this uh, plug into Eclipse that we're going to be using, actually it's libraries, um, uh, for projects is uh, something that allows us to uh, to execute parts of a program or parts of a class uh, and then check values against expected values so um, check the the return value of a uh, of a method against what we would expect to see for that return value so we're going to use a program that um, I developed for one of the other podcasts, the circle and the ellipse, and we're going to test that program. But first, there's a few things that we need to do in order to get all of this to work, and one of them is to uh, download <coughs> the uh, CPP unit uh, software from the course uh, website, or actually the course SVN repository. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, um, switch the perspective to repository exploring, click on SVN, and uh, hopefully by the time you get all of this uh, and view all of this, the uh, uh, permissions will be set, especially once you have actually have to use it, that the permissions will be set up. If not, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Okay, so I'm going to go to the repository, And I'm going to check out CP. Actually, let me just go to the repository. Um, oh, wonderful. Let's see. Did I forget something? SVN. At CSI at muohio.edu. Oh, it's a S here. Okay, so the uh, repository that I need, the directory that I need, is CPP unit as well as testing template. So I'm going to check both of these. Actually, I'm going to export both of these from the repository to my local disk, my local drive. So I'm just going to put these things onto the desktop. Right, so that should have put CPP unit into my desktop. It has. Uh, and I also want to do the same thing with testing template. So I'm going to export that also to the desktop. So this should also be on the desktop as a folder. OK, perfect. Now I'm going to go back to the C++ perspective. And I'm going to import both of these as projects into my workspace. I'll go to desktop. And it has both uh, CPP unit and testing template. I'm just going to take both of those, copy both projects into my workspace. Click on finish. Okay, so I have CPP unit here. It also do, and then here's testing template. So let's see that testing template. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now that I have that, so any anytime we do a uh, a project that requires testing, you're going to include both of these projects, um, both of these, uh, yeah, both of these projects into your workspace. Uh, and then after you actually after you've included CPP unit that first time, you'll be able to reuse it. Uh, it actually might even be a good idea for you to copy the testing template project, paste it as a new um, testing project. Uh, I'm going to call this test. Ellipse, click on OK, 
and then um, when I close this testing template, and then I'll I'll be able to since I've loaded into my local workspace, I'll be able to reuse this. Okay, so uh, one of the first things we need to do with test ellipse is we need to go to C++ build uh, and I believe it's environment maybe or actually maybe it's under oh, it's under uh, general and then paths and symbols um, and we want we need to add oh actually excuse me one more time project references we need to add a reference from whatever our test project is to the CPP unit project. Uh, what happens is that there's a CPP, there's a, uh, a, a library that gets generated within this project that we need to use um, for our testing project. Now let's uh, right click on CPP unit and build it. So what this is doing is building all of the uh, library methods that are needed in order to test our program. Um, so CPP unit is a, is a unit testing system that uh, essentially supports black box testing. Uh, black box testing is this idea that you know what the inputs are and you know what the outputs are and so you want to ch check to see whether or not uh, you, your expected values match your actual generated values. Okay, so we have that now, and I can also build test ellipse. So I'll build this project. Now, test ellipse has, uh, and the testing template really has some uh, uh, three three files that we actually want to actually two files that we want to use. It's testing class.h and testing class.cpp. So I'm going to open both of these. So. Uh, testing class dot cpp um, includes uh, a number of of uh, uh, actually it's testing class dot h has a number of definitions that are going to be used to uh, test our program. Uh, we're basically going to be creating what's called a test suite, and that that test suite is delimited by uh, this statement here and this statement here. So this indicates this is the uh, this is the begin this is the end and then uh, this uh, this testing class uh, this just indicates that um, our the name of our test suite and that it's defined by this class called testing class so all the methods that are in that we define within testing class are the things that we're going to use to uh, to do our tests to run our tests okay so there's two methods um, set up and tear down this is Setup is a method that uh, we use to um, to set up each one of the tests to establish preconditions, if you will, um, some initialization functions and whatnot. Uh, and then teardown is um, a method that gets executed when each test is done um, executing. And then uh, these methods, test throw and test method, these are methods that we're going to execute as part of our test. And if you look up here. This CPP unit test exception, and then test throw, test error exception. This is something that defines that we're running a test called test throw, uh, and we're going to look for this exception. We haven't really talked about exceptions all that much, and so for this particular example, I'm just going to comment this piece out because we're not going to actually need it. Uh, the thing that we're going to do is basically test methods. So I'm going to hide that, and then there's also uh, a definition of test throw here in this um, this file I'm going to also comment out this uh, um, this code okay so the um, the other thing I need to do is um, I need to start adding the the, uh, the source code I want that I actually want to test into this uh, and so I need to actually import this from uh, my directory so I'm going to uh, click on source and I'm going to import some files. Um, so from the file system and these are just uh, this is just a program that uh, I had created back for 
one of the other uh, podcasts. Actually, it's in my Dropbox. So let me find those. 274 is my workspace. And I believe it's in demo 2. Mm. demo two. Maybe it's under oh testing example. Here we go. No, I was right. It's in demo two. So I want to use. Uh, no, I was wrong. Huh. I had the proper directory. Testing example. So I need ellipse and ellipse.h um, and I'm going to uh, yeah it's going to copy them um, into this directory okay so there they are ellipse.h and ellipse.cpp um, I'm actually only interested in ellipse.h the methods that I'm going to test uh, are I'm going to test the, the uh, constructor I want to make sure that the values for the constructor are proper um, and then I'm also going to, uh, when I use that, I'm going to be using these getter functions that will basically retrieve the values of major, minor, x0, x1, y0, and y1. And then I'm also going to test the get area method, which basically just computes the area of an ellipse. Okay, so the way that I do this is uh, I add, so I add these methods to... Um, testing class, uh, but I also have to add the definitions here. So I need to say that I'm going to test something called test constructor, and I'm going to test something called uh, not test method, but we'll call this uh, uh, test area. And you'll see here that the compiler is now telling me, oh, there's something wrong here. It's because I haven't actually defined the methods. So I'm going to do that here. So void uh, test area and test constructor. And I'm not going to need either test method or test throw. And then over in this class here, I'm going to, uh, let me just change this from test method to test constructor. And then I'm also going to do something called uh, test area. OK, so these two methods are the methods that I'm going to use to test my ellipse class. Uh, and I'm going to use this, uh, these macros here, so assert, assert equal, especially. Uh, so assert equal essentially says, uh, this is what I expect to get, this is what I actually get. So th this particular test see what, sees whether or not 1 is equal to 2, it's not very interesting. Uh, but let's make this into something that's a little more, uh, a little more realistic. I need to uh, make sure that I include ellipse.h into, uh, into this... Uh, uh, part of the program. Actually, I've got that in the wrong spot. Let me put that here. And then I also need to make sure I use the namespace using namespace CSC274. And I need a semicolon here. Okay, so let's instantiate an ellipse object then. So pointer E equals new ellipse. And uh, so the first, uh, the first parameter in the ellipse, that's the, uh, the, X, uh, the first two are the x, y coordinates of the first uh, focal point. Um, and then the next uh, two parameters are the, the second focal point of the ellipse. And then major and minor would be the, uh, the, the length and the width of the ellipse. Um, I'm going to test this so that... Um, I'm basically using a, uh, a circle. So I'm going to say that, I'm, uh, that I have the, the focal points at the same place. That would be the center. And then I'm going to set my, uh, my uh, 
my two major and minor axes to uh, essentially length two. So the, the radius for these are going to be one, the length of these, uh, the radius for, yeah, the radius for this circle is going to be one, the diameter is equal to two. Okay, so uh, now that I have this circle, uh, I'm going to actually test it with these next two statements. Uh, one of the things I want to test is see, to see whether or not uh, the, uh, the constructor has actually saved the, uh, uh, the proper values uh, for these, each of these parameters. So I'm going to do this by comparing uh, the, each of these parameters with the appropriate, um, appropriate getter method. So this is x0. And actually, we can, we can do this more intelligently by making sure that everything is, this, is different um, for those points. It doesn't make sense as an ellipse, but it makes sense for testing the software. So let's do, let's see, y1, y0 would be the second parameter, so that's the 11 CPP unit assert equal 12 would be testing the third parameter, that's uh, get x1 and then the fourth parameter is get y1. <clears throat> and then we can also check to see whether or not um, the, the focal points were saved properly. So let's do, um, this should be 2 e get major. I believe that there that that parameter is major. Yes, it's, it's major. It's this one, and then minor. All right, and uh, let's see. Let me change this also. Um, so, so we're basically testing to see whether or not. We've got correspondence between the parameters and the attributes, uh, as well as the methods that are used to get uh, used to get them. So, um, I'm saying that this basically tests uh, the constructor because then we're checking to see whether or not the values that we pass into the constructor match up with uh, the things that we get from the getter methods. All right, so that's our first uh, first test that we're going to run. The second test that we're going to do is um, a test of the of the get area method. So let's do oops. Um, a lot of these values actually aren't going to matter for the, uh, the area of the ellipse, but I'm going to use uh, again the diameter of two for each of the, uh, the axes of the ellipse. This is essentially defining a circle. Uh, we know I'm assuming that you remember that the area of a circle is pi r squared. So let me do this. Um, I'm going to assert equal that, uh, let's see, this is a computation of the of pi. And actually, I need to make sure that I include the math class here. And uh, and so the area is uh, should be pi r squared, which uh, uh, since uh, the diameter is two, the radius is one, um, so r squared is just one. So I'm just going to leave this as as pi. Um, and then if I take e and get area. The area that's computed by this function or this method should be the same as pi. Okay, so that's my test. These are my two tests. Um, and um, now what I'm going to do is actually compile and run this. It's compiled. 
And now I should be able to run. We set a run configuration. Uh, did I build it? I did build it. Testy loops, testing template. But actually, let me make sure that I clean this. And now let me build my, my run configuration. Let me delete this one. There it goes. Okay, I'm going to run it. And now after this thing uh, builds and runs, I should see a reporting of the um, of the uh, of the test. It looks like it's actually recompiling the library, which is kind of a pain. It shouldn't have to do that, but apparently it's doing that. So it built a test, it ran it, and then uh, we see here that uh, it uh, there's two uh, ran two tests. Um, we have one failure uh, and, and one error. So now we can go through and check to see what the actual problem was. So um, oh, it looks like it was trying to test test throw, but we didn't actually include test throw in our program anywhere. Um, so let's see. Do we have... Oh, test throw is not here. Let me actually... This is wrong. Let's clean the project. This test throw should not have been there. So let me build a project again. And this is weird. It shouldn't actually be recompiling everything, but it is. I wonder if I did not build the library correctly. But we'll just let it go. Okay. And it looks like it's created both a hmm. Testing template and testing test ellipse. All right, so let's uh, let's build a run configuration based on this and make sure that it runs the right thing. So, testing template no, that's not what we want. Is testing we want test ellipse there? Okay. Okay, so it ran the two tests, and we see here that. Uh, both tests passed. Um, and of course that's not very interesting. Um, let's try to do something here to actually um, uh, change this so that the values are different. So let's uh, let me change this to 15, uh, but then I'm going to say that I'm expecting 13 and let's see what type of error or what type of message we get. So let's do this. Okay, so now we have the we have a failure. Uh, it expected the value 13. That's what we specified here, but it actually got 15, which was the actual input. Um, and then, as far as let's do something with the area. Let's change this area to one one. Okay, so now we have uh, we have two failures. One of them. Uh, we expected the uh, test area uh, it expected pi but it actually got pi over 2 um, and so you know we have an error here that we've tested let me one more thing which uh, I think would be more relevant so let's say that I have ellipse.cpp and I actually computed the area incorrectly um, so let's say that instead of uh, dividing these I actually um, just took the, I didn't take the radius, but used the diameter. So <clears throat> now here I would expect the, um, uh, the area to be pi, but um, get area actually computes something different. 
And so now I have those the same errors again. And actually, let's change this one back so we can see that actually working properly. Okay. So anyway, so there's uh, that's our uh, that's the way the testing program essentially works. The the testing library is that. Uh, you know, we pass it in a number of things that we're going to use to test the program. Uh, it's all based on what we expect the values to be. Um, and then we say which method to actually execute. Uh, the system will actually um, report to us whether or not we've had any failures, how many, how many tests did it actually run. In this case, we've only run two tests. Uh, and then what the actual results were, how many failures, and so forth. So anyway, so that's the, uh, this is the testing system. You're going to get a lot of experience using this this semester because as we create different data structures, uh, A, you'll be trying to figure out how to test them uh, to demonstrate the, that uh, your code is correct. And then B, uh, the other piece is uh, uh, you'll need to be able to specify, you know, what the test is, uh, how to actually set up the test, uh, what the code ne needs to look like in order to run the test. So anyway, so this is uh, this is our introduction to CPP unit. Um, you're of course going to be seeing more of this as we go on this semester.